hey guys welcome back we are continuing a laravel 9 e-commerce series so guys now in this video we are going to learn how to show my orders data okay so guys let's go to our database and here you see that we have orders table in that we have stored all the order data okay with the order items so now guys let's get started to show in our my orders page so first up guys we need to create a route with the name orders okay hit enter so here you find 404 let's create a route guys first step so go to routes web.php and we need to move in auth middleware so direct auth middleware and just use a get method paste so guys now let's create one controller so for that you need to create one order controller so let's open our terminal and yep php artisan make colon controller where inside front end folder forward slash order controller okay hit enter controller created successfully guys let me close this terminal and now we uncomment the route and go to that controller guys so let me copy the path from here itself copy and just paste here and change that controller name to order controller so now you can go to app http controller front end inside front end you have a order controller okay let's copy this and again repaste for confirmation let me close the sidebar and now guys let's create one index function in our order controller so let's move to our order controller and create a simple function function the function name is going to be index and here we are going to get the view so return view function and you are going inside the front end folder dot your orders folder dot index file okay so for that let's get to our resource resource views inside views front end so inside front end we will create one folder named orders so orders inside this orders let's create one file with the name index blade.php hit enter and now let's extend our layouts and all i have extended the layout and the title and the content area so inside this content area we have a simple design okay so where i am using container row column and just a simple shadow with background white padding three and heading will be my orders and here return a div with the class table responsive and inside this table responsive div we are going to list out our users order so guys let's begin with table so table dot table where i need more table hyphen bordered table striped okay and then table head so now guys here we will be adding all the headings so let me just list out those so guys now here you see order id tracking number username payment mode order date and status message okay and one simple action to view your product details now table body and then guys here we are going to loop and show the data so before looping the data let's check this page guys first so let's get back and just refresh cool and now let's fetch the order so first step let's move to our controller at this index function we are going to create one variable called orders is equal to your order model colon colon where user we need to check and get the record in a descending okay so for that guys you can use order by function and inside this you can tell created at and it should be descending desc descending and use a get method to get the data done and in this where condition you have to use user underscore id so in the orders table we have a id so let me just show you that here in the orders table you see that 
in the orders table, we have user underscore ID. So authenticated user ID we need to get. So let's type auth colon colon user function of ID. And now you need to import the both classes. So let's import this auth first guys. Class imported. And now you need to import your order model. You see class imported. Okay. Order model also in imported. And now you need to copy this and send the variable using compact function. And now guys, you get back to your again index blade and loop the data at for else here and you send that dollar order as item order item. Let's copy this. And now guys, you need to paste in a table row. So guys, I just missed here table row. So you need to add that. So please don't miss that table row data in your heading also. Okay. Yep. And now table data. And then guys, your dollar item of ID. This will be order ID, then tracking number, T-R-A-C-K-I-N-G tracking number. And then again, username is nothing but full name. And then payment mode. So type the column payment underscore mode. Order date. That means created at. And if you want to show in different format, use this format function to show in different view date month and year i just want to show and then guys again let's copy and paste below for the status message okay so this is status message is nothing but your order status message okay and one simple td so just use a tag and tell view and just design this button 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 primary button small and now guys you need to create one url url function for orders forward slash get a one step front and then item of id you are going to take this paste here all set guys and now here in the else part user table row td and now guys you need to count how many are there three three six one seven so just add call span equal to seven no orders available okay save it and now guys you can get back and check the output so let's get back here refresh cool so guys we get all the orders and when we view this you need to view the record so guys now before viewing the record i just want to paginate it okay so for that let's get back to our order controller and instead of get method use paginate and it should be 10 record so we don't have right now 10 let's test with 5 and then you get back to your index blade after your table responsive or inside the table responsive itself use a div tag and just paste your orders variable okay this orders copy and paste here with the links function save it and now you get your output so let's refresh here it will be paginated by fifi records cool so here you see showing one out of five seven results but you see guys that it's not responsive correctly here you see it's going something okay so for that you need to set up the responsiveness in laravel so let's get back to our code and we need to set up that globally you have to go to your app and you move to your providers then you go to your app service provider inside that boot function you need to call your paginator okay and you need to import this class guys just import that paginator and yep this is the illuminate pagination paginator okay so let's import that it's imported and now if you get back and refresh your pagination will work 
fine perfect so we get all the correct details one and two records okay so now guys we can paginate back to 10 let's close this get back to your controller and instead of five let's keep it to 10 done guys and now let's get started working on this view button so for that you need to go back to your index blade and check the route how you have created url okay so let's copy this orders and then you are getting the id so now guys you need to copy this and get back to web.php so yep paste here let's copy and paste again and we have already so let's get to this order forward slash and then your order id so let's tell order capital i and d so order id and it goes to we are going to view okay so that means show so let's create a show function in your order controller so let's go to our order controller and create a show function so show function name should be show and we are getting the order id so let's type order id and then you are going to write the code for getting the record so let's copy this guys from above and paste here again so first step we are going to check the user id obviously and then we are not going to use this anymore let's remove this and use again a where condition for id and then get this order id let's copy this paste here and then get the first record first first record okay so now you need to validate this let's give a if condition if this query is true like if the user tries to change the order id that time you need to show the error right so for that you can just use in this if else condition else so if the record is found then you are going to view the bleed file view order view okay and uh, name this variable as order only not orders so it will be more clear it's a order one single order and now guys in the else condition you are going to return and just redirect back or go to your orders page itself okay return and redirect back with the message with the message m-e-s-s-a-g-e -S -S message that no order found okay now let's create a file guys view blade.php so first let's move here index and then inside your orders folder we are going to create a file named view blade.php view dot blade dot php and now guys let's extend the layout so go back to your index blade of my order so i'm going to copy this complete div area copy and paste here and end the div tags so yep let's get back and here we copy and end the section area perfect and now you can tell my order details and now guys let's give the heading h4 tag and let me just use few font awesome icon fa fa shopping cart and then my order details and then one a tag for back button dsek back and add a class button button danger button small and let's make it to float to end and here i just wanted to use a primary color so let's use text primary and let me make this to dark so text dark and now guys you can give a horizontal row hr as simple and then let's see the output for this okay so now click on this order id 7 view so guys you see that order id 7 okay 
and you have reached to this page so guys in this video that's it and let's continue the next video of view order details okay so thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share